Okay, everyone. So I'm really excited to show you how these presets work. Um, I've got a handful of images here. Uh, some are from uh, shoots that I did, and then a bunch are from other photographers. We have Nikon files, Canon files, Sony files, Fuji files. <laughs> uh, I think we've got everything. Um, so yeah, well, the, the uh, presets are here. They're called the good light presets. We have F1 through 6. <laughs> so um, we designed these based on film, but when we shoot film, we find that we can get such a variety of looks. Uh, so to really emulate one kind of film uh, in one preset we found to be kind of impossible. And so we decided to sort of emulate all the different looks of film that we love but with the benefits of digital. So yeah, that's how we landed on F1 through six. <laughs> so, um, I'm just gonna jump right in. Uh, so here we have this image, it was shot, it looks like on a Sony camera on a 50. And um, first thing I'm gonna do is just brighten it up. Man, that is a beautiful image. That's, that's pretty good as is almost. So um, this looks great. I'm just going to apply F4. F4 is sort of like the normal image, uh, the normal edit, I should say. That's that's just like a nice, filmy, good skin tone look. That looks amazing. Um, I mean, geez, props to this to this photographer and this camera. And these leaves, my God, where do you live? This is incredible. Uh, so <laughs> that looks great. Uh, I might add film grain medium. I might just tilt this. Uh, that looks amazing. Looks amazing. If this color is a little bit too punchy for you, the other thing you can do is up here where the profile is, it gives you an amount. Right now we're at 100. Uh, we could tone this down and put it down to like, like 45%. And now it's the same look, just a little bit more muted, a little less punchy. Uh, inversely, if you want this to be more intense, you can put it right up to 150%. That's a lot. I probably wouldn't do that. That's that's pretty intense. Um, so I like it at like 100. I almost like it at, uh, at 90. That looks nice. Put it at 90. Brighten it up. That's killer. I love it. All right. Next picture. Okay, this image was shot on a Fuji GFX. I shot this recently um, in Maui. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is brighten it up. Right there. Um, what I'll do is I'm just going to hover over and sort of scroll down. See what I like. Gosh, F1 looks pretty good. That looks great. Oh my goodness. I like that a little green. So what I'm going to do is make it a little more magenta. That looks great. I'm going to go grain medium. That looks awesome. And that's all I would do. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Um, might even go up. Yeah, maybe 110. Just push it to pump the colors a little bit. Uh, that looks awesome. I love it. If I wanted to edit this a little more vintage, a little more like analog looking, what I would do is... I would use F6. Uh, actually, first thing again, I'm gonna brighten it up. And then I'm gonna hit F6. F6 is sort of like, um, it's almost modeled after like if you um, underexposed or improperly exposed your film um, and then maybe pushed it. It's sort of a, it's sort of a funky look. Um, what I like about it is that it's not perfect, right? Like we edited this, that just looks killer right off the bat. Um, this, you know, when you hit it, it's, it's a little faded, it's a little pink, but then when we warm it up and when we reduce some of that pink and brighten it up, you know, we have a, a little different look. We have some softer blacks. Sometimes when you shoot film, you get some softer blacks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do grain high, and then we get like a super grainy look. I love all of this in here. Very analog. Um, and... I might even go, yeah, 120. That's so nice. Love it. So this is like a clean look, a nice clean film look. This is like a 
a little dirty, dirty film look. Uh, next image, uh, same thing, GFX. Um, this is on like a really, really contrasty day. Kind of brighten it up so I can see those faces. And on this one, gosh, let's try, let's try a four. Four looks nice. Actually looks really nice. Darken it back down a little bit. Warm it up. I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. That looks great. I'm gonna do grain medium. And I love that. That's maybe all I would do. Um, and again, if I wanted to have a, a more like analog funky look, I'm gonna hit reset. <clears throat> Let me see. F5 looks like that. F6 looks like that. Yeah, it kind of crunches the shadows. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna warm it up. I'm gonna cool it down, and I'm actually gonna pull the highlights and the whites down, and then darken it, make it more green, green medium. Uh, I also love the way this looks. This is just a little bit more, a little more rough. So this is kind of a nice clean look. That's probably the one I would deliver, and that's like a pinky highlight kind of pushed film look. All right, next image. Okay, this is actually shot on a Fuji X70, so a little point-and-shoot camera. This was in um, the Amalfi Coast, so I'm going to brighten it up. Also, this is really, really cool um, because I was using the camera's auto white balance, so I'm going to warm it up. I'm going to put it up to there because that looks like maybe what it was like in real life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use um, F3. So, so F4 is like the normal one. Actually, that looks amazing. Um, and if I used F4, I'd probably pump it up to, oh, well, look at that, 140%, right? So this is 140, I might darken that down. I mean, that is, that's ridiculous. I love that. Um, but I'm gonna show you a different way to edit it. Um, again, I'm gonna brighten it and warm it way up right there and brighten it let's go to f3 f3 just by default oh my gosh look at that that's killer that's like a a nice almost like an ektar kind of look uh very punchy the the blues and the greens are just popping the reds are popping that's killer so this is like a this is um more like what it would look like if you shot fuji 400 this is almost like what it would look like if you shot some ektar or even some portra like portrait 800 or something um yeah, that's killer. I love the way this yellow looks right here. Boom. So this is F4. This is F3. Yeah, I don't know. I think I like the F3. Uh, yeah, I'd probably do that one. All right, next image. All right, here we go. So this is a very, very standard, typical portrait. Uh, lots of green grass, throwing up lots of green light everywhere. We're in a park. So this is like a very nice, normal vanilla image to show you what these things look like on. Um, I'm going to just tilt this, rotate a little bit. There we go. Let's see, F4. Let's go vanilla. That looks good. Darken it down. Kind of cool it down. So this looks nice. It's a little flat. So I'm going to go ahead and see what F1 looks like. Yeah, F1 is just like F4, but it's a little bit more punchy, deeper shadows. That looks really nice. I like that a lot. Um, might even cool it down more, even brighten it up more. And what I'm going to do is do grain low. That looks nice. Love it. If I wanted it to be a little more funky, do F5. And what F5 did is it cooled it down and it sort of crunched the shadows a little bit, and which makes me have to warm it up. So what I'm going to do is warm it up, brighten it up. And so this is F5 versus uh, F1. F1 is that nice green palette, that nice foamy green. And then if I do F5 and then edit it to taste, we have a little bit more of that like analog sort of soft highlight look. Um, and then if we wanted to go like super, super vintage F6, F6 just brings those shadows down, makes it even more faded pink, makes it almost even more like a pushed, pushed film. We have very pinky highlights. 
That looks really nice too. I love it. All right, we have a Canon file. This is beautiful. Um, first thing, I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit, warm it up a little bit. We have some blue tones in here. I want those to be a little more neutral. Beautiful. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do F4, just cause it's kind of somewhere in the middle. It's really nice, but I think that the photographer probably was going for a moody look, so I'm gonna darken it down, uh, and then I'm gonna cool it down. So this this might be sort of what the photographer was going for. Um, if it were me, I'd probably leave it nice and bright like that. Uh, because we have all this white space, I'm gonna go ahead and do grain medium, and uh, I might even do grain high. Yeah, throws in some texture in those highlights, which I really like. Uh, that looks great. Um, and again, just because, just for curiosity's sake, I'm gonna do F6. Oh yeah, that's some stank. And what I'm gonna do is actually here, and then I'm gonna make the green, warm it up. That looks killer. And then what I also might do is Drop this to four three, and then just for just for giggles, I'll turn the lens correction off. Yeah, bring some of that color and shadow back in down here. That's nice. In fact, that's real nice. That's what I would do with this image. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay, we have another, uh, looks like a Sony file. Beautiful. Oh, this one's already edited. <laughs> Reset. Ah, there we go. Let's see. First thing I'm gonna do is brighten it up, warm it up. Maybe right there. Um, F1 looks good. Oh yeah, that's killer. Uh, F4. F4 is nice little flat, so I'm gonna go back to F1 and I'm gonna rotate it and put it right there. Nice. Do film grain medium. And I'm gonna um, add a vignette back in, just a tiny bit. That's nice. Keeps it a little moodier. Holy guacamole. Oh, I already did this one. <laughs> How many of these have I added it? Okay, just that one. Uh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna brighten it up. It's very, very magenta, so I'm gonna bring back that a little bit. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. Um, F1 looks nice. F4 looks really nice too. F1 is a little more moody. F6, it was super moody, but you know what? It's already so moody where we don't need that. So I'm gonna do F1, keeping some of that color pop. And once again, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the vignette sort of back in. Yeah, that's nice. Brighten it, warm it. I'm gonna do film grain high, going high. Oh, so moody. A lot of noise in there. So actually, I might go film grain medium. That's nice. Beautiful. Love it. This image is kind of composed a little off center. So I do that. Tilt it. This is a Canon file. So gonna get rid of that little guy. And. Let's see here, go down the line. Ooh. Oh my God, I like that so much. I'm gonna brighten that. I'm gonna get rid of some of the pink. That is so nice and I'm gonna warm it up. That's great. So this is like very, very um, like warm and inviting and very nostalgic. I'm gonna add film grain medium. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So. Before, after, oh my goodness, that's great. Love it. 
Ooh, look at that moody image. Love that. Um, you know, because it's so moody, let's see here. So F4, it looks pretty good. Oh, F6 is where it's at with this guy. That's so nice. I'm gonna go film grain high. <clears throat> I'm gonna remove the lens correction, lens correction off. Let's just keep it moody. It's nice. It's beautiful. So this is the way I like this image. If you wanted it to be light and airy and sort of more fine art, then I would do F4, I'd brighten it up, I'd make it more pink, cool it down, I would crop it 4-3, and I'd go right there. So that's like a more light and airy edit, but I think this is this is nice. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, things like this make me wish I didn't live in Florida. This is beautiful. F4, F4 it, let's see. Beautiful, I'm gonna turn the lens correction off. Uh, actually, I'm gonna turn it on, and then just add a vignette back in. Yeah, that's nice. Film grain medium, beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's probably what I would do, that's nice. Gorgeous. All right, we got an indoor image. We have a, a video camera right here. <laughs> Let's crop that out first. Beautiful. And I'm gonna brighten it up. I'm gonna cool it down. A lot of like warm light bouncing around in these cream walls. Um, actually, normally I would say F4, but it's just um, so green and punchy. I'm gonna try F5, that's nice. Nice and neutral. I'm gonna make it a little more pink, that's beautiful. Um, home grain low, beautiful. For this image, I would probably use a radial filter and darken down some of the highlights here in dad's face. Or the groom's face, who knows? I'm guessing dad, but maybe not. Uh, next image, oh, perfect, it's nice. Nice, simple portrait, I'd brighten it up first. Uh, let's try F1. F oh, F1's so nice, look at that. That's beautiful. F4 is nice, but it's a little less punchy. F3 is like super punchy. I think F1, that's where it's at right there. And then film grain medium. I'm gonna go film grain high. Yeah, add some texture right here. You know, this is like a personal choice. I don't like the way the film grain looks in her face here, but I like the way it looks in the sky. So I'm gonna go with medium again. That's nice. Beautiful. I would probably also crop in right there, but that's just me. Beautiful. Uh, same, uh, same shoot? Yeah, same shoot. So let's go F1 again. Pretty, brighten it up, add some magenta. For this particular image, I'm gonna turn lens correction off. Uh, yeah, bring in some of the detail and I'm gonna tilt it. That's nice, beautiful. Same shoot, very warm. Okay, I'm gonna brighten it up, I'm gonna cool it way down, and then brighten it. Um, I think F1's gonna be too punchy, way too punchy. So I'm gonna go to F5, yeah, that's much better. Let's try F6, I like F5. Five. Cool down, add some pink, that's nice. I would, uh, I'd crop this, probably. Yeah, film grain medium, beautiful, very nice. Maybe uh, get rid of that guy and get rid of that guy. Beautiful. 
Okay, here's an image I took on the GFX Fuji. I would brighten this up. Um, there's a lot of colors bouncing around here and it's super bright. I'm gonna just go F6. Let's see what F5 looks like. F5, that's nice. I tilt it. And I'm gonna do film grain medium. And tilt it some more. That's great. If you wanted something a little more interesting, F6 sort of gives you those more minty greens and a little bit more of a faded black. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do F6 and then I'm gonna go 120%. I'm gonna warm it up. That's nice. Maybe make it more green. That's pretty. Uh, if we did F5, so much warmer, I can cool it down again, make it more magenta. Let's go to like 120%, 130%, that's nice. I think I liked F6 though. Yeah. That's pretty. And then 120%, film grain medium. That's nice. I would do that. Uh, so this is another GFX file, same shoot. This is in the shade. So uh, first thing I do is brighten it up. Let's go F1. Uh, yeah, F1, F4, either one. F3 is just like super punchy. Um, I find that F3 is really good for like landscapes or for like your travel photos. Uh, I like F4, that's really nice. Uh, I'd brighten it up, I'd make it more pink and I'd warm it up. Film grain, medium. There it is, that's great. Um, and once again, I'm gonna do another edit of that image, but I'm gonna do F6. Yeah, that's, uh, so it's, this is all faded and green and funky, but then when I warm it up, put some more magenta into it, go brighter. And I'm gonna go to 120%. That's nice. We'll do film grain medium. Yeah, that's nice. That's like a little more moody and grainy and gritty. And that's just like super, super clean. All right, a couple more images here. All right, this is another GFX file because I have a GFX. So I find that F5 and F6 work great on GFX. Um, the other ones do as well, but for me, I just prefer these two. I'm gonna go with five because F5 is like more muted, but it's not quite as gritty. I mean, that looks great. That's almost a one click edit right there. So that's nothing and that's F5. That's pretty. Um, film grain low. I mean, that is, it's pretty. Next image, this is also from that wedding in Maui. I'm gonna tilt this immediately because it's off. There we go, I'm gonna brighten it up. We have a lot of clipped highlights here, so I'm actually gonna just, let's see what F4 looks like. F4 is good, a little green, a little warm. That's okay, I'm gonna again go with F5. Let's see what that looks like, let's see what F6 looks like. So F6 makes it dark and pink. And so let's brighten it, let's warm it. Not quite that much. Let's go green. I like this. I like this vintage look because of this car. Um, I like the way that looks a lot. I might even pull the whites down, decrease exposure, shadows up. That's nice. I'm gonna tilt it even more. And I'm gonna crop in right here. That's nice. And then um, film grain medium. Beautiful. I love that. 
So guys, yeah, that's that's the presets. I mean, there's six of them. They're all different. I didn't use F2 a single time on here. Um, I almost never use F2. Uh, Cody likes F2. And then um, I hear that people who use Fuji cameras that have the X-Trans sensors really love F2. Um, so maybe next time I do a video edit, I'll try that. Um, my personal favorites are F5 and F6. F4 is like the go-to. And F1 is um, also like a nice go-to, but a little more punchy. And F3 is a real, uh, here, I'm gonna try it on this image. F3 is like mega punch. So what I'm gonna do is try and make an edit with this. Yeah, so again, this is almost like Ektar. And that looks nice. Um, I would have to pull down the, the whites a little bit. And then, um, do film grain medium. I mean, that's not a bad edit. It's just so punchy. Um, versus that's what I did before, which I like so much more. But yeah, I hope that helps guys. Happy editing.